It's like, you know, like you're watching a movie or you're looking at the photograph or you're in the book. You feel like you're in a different world. I hate boring websites, so sorry. I hate selling and I hate the part when you have to sell your work. Sorry. <laughs> you're gonna cut it, right? The best designers out there, they're actually people who just follow their passion. I'm Valeria. I'm based in Greece and I'm a digital designer. For the last two years, I'm a member of the award jury. I'm doing a lot of my personal projects, freelancing using Tilda. Tilda was uh, the only choice, I guess, because I showed my Figma file to some of the developers and they said, oh my, there's so many elements and so many, so many details and everything moves and this and that. And they said, no way, it's gonna take you ages, you know, to do it right. I understand that it will be much easier if I'm gonna do it by myself because I can try and then, you know, if I don't like something, I change it much quicker. We start with Figma and then I transfer everything to Tilda. Uh, and I do step by step. First, I fix the desktop and animation, and then I show it to the client. And if everything is okay, we move to the mobile and all the responsive versions. The benefits of Tilde, you know, it takes very, very little time actually. So we can, you know, start and finish the project in about two weeks. And you know how it goes with the clients. So they come and they say, we need it yesterday, please. And you know, that's how Tilda is very helpful because you can do it very, very quick. Tilda has zero blocks and standard blocks. Zero blocks are a bit more creative because you can really customize all your ideas. Maybe I use like 80% of zero blocks, but then 20% of uh, standard blocks just for the client's benefits. And they can do and replace things much quicker. Don't go to the, you know, standard structure and don't try to fit into the things like everyone tells you, oh, it has to be this way. When I was doing my portfolio, um, I had a mentor, design mentor, and he was telling me, well, maybe we should go this structure and this. And they said, it, it just doesn't feel me. So I think it's very important to show in your portfolio who you are. If you true to yourself, it shows you should choose three, four, five top maybe of the best projects you have. Tell the story behind it, how it helped your client. And if it was a fake case, if it wasn't the real one, just tell your idea why you created it and what inspired you and why you think it's important to tell this story to the world. 